for networknews.com. Uh, we're still at the ASUS press conference. We finally got our hands on this 10-inch E-pad. I think it's called EP101TC, whatever that means. So um, I'm pretty sure that this one is still based on uh, NVIDIA Tegra 2, because that's what we announced, I think, in January. And it's running a Windows Embedded Compact 7 edition. So this is something that we haven't seen before. What's working right now is uh, that you can, for example, choose over here the ebook reader, and then you have a couple of books in here. And oh, that's kind of it's an early prototype, you know, don't forget that. But before we're playing around with the software, why don't we take a quick look around the system? First of all, this is pretty light. I think pretty much the same weight as the uh, iPad from Apple. 675 gram, I think that's what Asus said. And um, when we're looking around the system, there's only a connector for the PSU, mini USB, and jacks for a headset and a microphone. There is a slot for a SIM card. That's interesting, so it might come with 3G. And what else is here? I think a 4-in-1 card reader, something like that. Um, on the front, we don't have anything. On the left side, we have a connector where you I think you can switch off the microphone or the webcam. What kind of symbol is that? I have no clue. Um, the volume control and the power button. It feels pretty cool on the, on the back and I like the form factor. It's very slim. Um, in general, it feels better than the iPad because it's just not so slippery. The aluminum of the, uh, of the iPad is very slippery and it has some rough edges. Um, but let's, let's take a more detailed look at the software. Going back to the home screen, it shows you, it has some widgets over here. It shows you the weather in Taipei and that it's cloudy right now. It shows you the time and how many emails you got. And over here we have some symbols for the volume and uh, for the network and the battery status. Let's see, when we're clicking on this inbox thing, I think that's not working right now. But you can go to the internet, can surf the internet. They're using Opera. Wow, that was actually, actually, you know what? I mean, that's a video that's running right now. I'm not doing anything. So somehow this is an early demo unit. Um, they have this uh, music widget over here. So with different playlists and with all the album covers. And you can watch some videos. I mean, this looks like a media player, and I'm pretty sure that you can easily embed it in your, in your Windows infrastructure at home. And we have a photo album. We don't have a photo album. We should have a photo <laughs> album over here. So anyways, it's a very interesting device. We can't tell you anything about the pricing or the, or the launch or when it's coming to the market. But yeah, that's the EPET EP101TC, Sasha for networknews.com. Thanks for watching.